All right, lads, before we start today's yarn, I want to shout out Manscaped. They're supporting today's episode of The Search. They've launched a new product, the Lawnmower 4.0, right? It's the best clipper for shaving down there. Legit, it's the best clipper. You know all them other clippers, they cut you, they graze you, this and that. It's the best clipper and I got a, I got a code for you. If you go to manscaped.com, you get 20% off by using the code THESEARCH. You can click the link in the description, it'll be there. I'll go to manscaped.com. Make sure you use the code THESEARCH, you get 20% off. Gun clipper, lad, go check it out, eats. Someone overdosed on drugs or something and their mate messaged ya? One guy, this fucking, he's, he's made overdose and he goes, fucking, he was listening to your music the whole night before it wasn't for you, it would never have happened. Oh, I was like, fuck he just put it straight on you. I was like, what do you mean, guy? <laughs> like, fuck, what is that going, man? But yeah, like, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's a hard subject, bro, like, to say, like, what is your, are we responsible for the things that we say and the influence that we have on people? It needs to be spoke about. Yeah. For sure. All right, welcome back to another episode on my podcast, The Search. I'm Spanian. Today I got another another one of the rappers from the scene that I'm in, Husky. Funny enough, I met met this lad in um, jail in uh, <laughs> Don Dolores, say, 2015. Yeah, fuck, 2015, lad. Yeah, back when I didn't have a clue about Oz rap. And uh, I didn't even know but you But you had the stack of CDs, I remember that. I remember you had that fucking stack of CDs, cuz you talked about it on your last one. I remember them CDs, bro. Oh, do you? I was trying to get a listen. I remember that the only time I'd get to hear actual rap was when we were at the gym. So we go up to the gym yeah, and you'd yeah, bring yeah, the yeah. fucking, or one of the Oost yeah, the yeah, activity yeah. screws would let you put it on a little portable phone. Right, you fully remember that. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> you, and yeah, I only cut that at music. It was that or fucking Kiss FM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, like, I'm, hanging, I'm, I'm staying next to you. That's what one of the other boys were saying. Spaniards right? doing cities. traps, I'm doing traps. Man. Fuck this. I don't mean the pharaohs, everything. <laughs> everything, cuz. Yeah, so so back then, what was I doing? I was like- You were good at cards, lad. I remember you were like, to, like cuz, you can, you can imagine that this kind of was pretty much running the pod as it is. He's well respected, and I'm a young kind, and I'm just trying to start a conversation with some kind who's got a bit of pool, you know, like just trying to get a foot in the door somewhere, you know what I mean? Mm. And I was going like, "Oh, you do martial arts and that lad." Like when I was young, I did a lot of judo. What what, what was I doing, Barbara, to make you say that? Was I like kicking the wall? Because you, you were you. Were, I remember one day you were shadow boxing and then doing sprints in between, lad. And then this <laughs> islander screw, cause like 130 kilo kind looks down at me and goes, "Fuck that." <laughs> and I was like, what, what do you mean, guys? Fuck that, what do you mean? He's like, bro, I wouldn't want to fight that, can't. And I'm like, bro, you're the fuck, you can't even pr- protect us, motherfucker. I'm like, what do you mean? You scared of him? I'm like, guys, you need a new job, bro. I'm like, <laughs> Hard they were all right, them activity yeah, yeah, screws. Yeah, yeah, I'll give yeah, yeah. to them. The but activity screws in, in um, uh, yeah, they were all they, they, all, they, they were, they were. I remember they always used to talk to me about MMA. I remember, I remember you fucking always with shadow boxing. I remember you had a celly that was like a bit younger, and you'd tell him, "Go try your hardest, lad, to punch the fuck out of me." And, like, <laughs> and he would be there swinging at you, but you'd be doing these like fucking Bruce Lee slaps, and you'd be knocking him down. Bro, I'm glad that you brought that. And up, you actually bro. got this young guy. He's like maybe 19 or something. He's actually trying to punch at you, and you're not yeah. hitting him back, but you're going whack, 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 was whack, I? whack, whack. And I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck are these cunts doing? Bro, I was master, lad." I was obsessed <laughs> bro i used to terrorize some sellies i think i've said it before i don't remember where bro i used to get sellies and i used to give them the plastic knife but i didn't even have to know come at me like the butter knife bro, <laughs> i swear i used to give him a butter knife that could be a new cellmate i trained all day grappled in the morning sh- shadow boxed at, at lunchtime then i'll do weights before lock-in as soon as we're in the cell don't matter who the cell <laughs> is bro he's a plastic knife but try to stab me like <laughs> <"Bruh>, sit down <laughs> bro and I'll be like, fool. I'll be, no, no, try to stab me, bro. Just see if you can stab me, lad. And I'll just fool, like. 10 points if you yeah. can, lad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it I remember that. I've seen that shit, cuz. And I remember you said to me, but that's how we met. You said to me, um, because you've done judo, right? Yeah, I said, and I didn't think you were going to be serious, lad. I thought, this guy's older. He's not going to want nothing to do with me. He's going to yeah, say, yeah, boom, yeah. He, we might fucking get familiar with the face. That's it. We'll go on, do yeah, jail. Yeah, yeah. But then the next day, you come up to me and you go, oh, lad, you, you, you still want to teach me some of that judo? I was like, fuck, young ass. I was like, yeah, where are we going to do it? Like, like, 2015, yeah. Yeah, and we're, like, we're just doing it in the middle of the yard, lad. I was like, well, all right then, cuz I've fucking never put myself on show like that before, no, lad. No, like, no. I don't want cunts thinking that I'm a fighter. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, some cunts, yeah. they, yeah, just, yeah, they hit the pads and they just love bridging course, up, but yeah, yeah. pads don't hit back. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. There's some cunts you can tell. I don't know what you're thinking because if you're like there, 
It's semi like you're bridging up in the yard. Even just though you were showing me hints, yeah. it's like you're trying to put yourself out there to everyone yeah. else. So look at me, look what I can and do. And I just got there. I was a week in. Yeah, yeah. And like, I was like, you know what? I actually last thing I wanted to do. I remembered what you taught me. I might have this wrong, but you taught me it was from the the grip that was, I don't know, judo, it was relax. Like, like the gi kind of thing. The, yeah. It was the grip, the collar grip. Yeah. So you're holding my collar. You showed me how to hold the collar, but you twisted your thumb into yeah. it. So it's like old. And you knocked my foot as if it's a sweep. Yeah, I pulled you. I pulled you quickly, but pulled, as you yep. stepped forward, yep. as soon as your foot lifted, I went whack. You you knock it out. But it was, like a it was it's, it's like a you don't need power with this judo yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah. just a little tap on the foot. That's mad. You just got caught off guard, and then you go, yeah, let me try it, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom! You pulled me, and you just went whack, kind of fucking booted my ankle, lad. After the first <laughs> time, <laughs> I was like, oh, bro, like, but I had to just fucking like, fuck, pretend like I didn't hurt. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get it. And you were tripping me just off pure power, just kicking me, guys. You <laughs> no weren't even no guys, just, just boot. booting me to the ground. And I was like, "Fuck!" Because you got it. It's like Brock can do that. He goes, "Damn, trip over, lad." Full angle boot, lad. It was like, my, my foot wasn't even off the ground. You just boot the kind of chop it down like a tree, lad. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> That's funny as I. Eh? So that was 2015. That, that one, was C class. You were probably coming the, out. That was about the the middle. Yeah. So that was um, I was supposed to get parole, but I got knocked back parole. Um, because they gave me for the last part of my sentence, the, they finally dropped my E yeah, after I got one now. twelve. Yeah, the worst, bro. E E's um, E classo. So are you E two E one? Uh, it depends. Uh, both E yeah. two and E one, depending on the the status of the sentence. Yeah. So the start of a sentence, I'm E one. It's yeah. at the end, I'm E two. So E classo, like in jail, you get classos A B C. C's minimum, A's maximum. B is you're progressing to C. And it's based on jail performance and how long of your sentence you got left. Um, it's a security assessment. Yeah. There's an there's a uh, there's a odd ball. It's called E. And if you've ever had any accusation or actually escaped or attempted to escape or anything, uh, they give you an E, and, and you're sticks. permanently stuck as an as a maximum security inmate. It doesn't matter if yeah. you want to be. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're the best behaved. It doesn't matter if you got five days to go or, or ten years to go. Yeah. You're just E, and you're stuck in maxo the entire time. And you can apply to get this removed, right? You can get apply I to did, get that. I did at the SA, 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 SA Sork. Sork, that's yeah. it, Sork, bro. And so, like, I was always burning because, like, we can and never- And I'd write the mad letters. I got all these older bro, boys the telling me, you know, I'm fucking yeah. mad yarns and stuff. Because I'd hate, bro, like, just growing- Because I never got to do young offenders or nothing like that. None yeah. of the good nah, courses. Me never, cause, me never. Yeah, so, like, and I'd keep writing and writing. And then, like, finally, they accepted it. Finally, and after like off. 12 years, yeah, right. but but they waited right to the end of my sentence. Um, and so they gave me, it was like my last few weeks was going to be a C. What they thought was my last few weeks. Um, but then I got knocked back parole, so I had another year, something left. And then they took it off me anyway. So Damn. I spent a few weeks of my life as a C cusser. Yeah, Good yeah. times. Kicking back, lad. But when you went, so when we were there, bro, because like I was saying before, like I didn't know nothing about Ozrap. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. I learned that it was a thing when I got out in 2017 and Spinner told me it's a thing. What? Yeah. So like, but, so then in 2015, were you already rapping? I was starting to write them because like, I remember in them. Darcy, I had like my first half of rap written. Oh, so at that time that we were at- yeah. um, Dawn we were the across lowest. the road, doing the lowest. Yeah. You didn't have any music on the internet, like YouTube or nothing nah, like that. Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I fucking, I had a- like half a rap written lad i think that's on like hustle hard tv now that's yeah, yeah, sick yeah. or something like that bro but yeah like nah it was embarrassing bro like you yeah. like you wouldn't tell cunt you're a rapper yeah like bro for a long time people would be like what do you do for a job yeah yeah uh, i don't have a job yeah yeah, yeah. like that's embarrassing to be like i'm a rapper yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's i pay the i'll pay my fucking bills now like my kids fed everything yeah. i'm happy to tell people i'm a rapper now yeah, yeah, yeah. but it wasn't like this back of then course, like they're just yeah, like nah lad, like, you're a grown yeah 100 you're a rapper you mean you yeah, don't yeah. get paid like, and yeah. that's yeah yeah <laughs> and you're talking about 2015 bro like when i started going to jail 2004 2003 2004 bro it was like people would step away from you yeah it wasn't yeah. just if, if you rapped People will like be like, bro, what the fuck you doing? Like, <laughs> for real, and you'd have to pull up. Yes, yeah, like yeah, bro, and comes yeah. But um, all right, so bro, because I'm I'm real interested in this, but like, when you got out there in 2015, you got out in 2015. Yeah, yeah, and then like, so you were writing raps. Did you get out knowing anything about 
Oz rap scene? Was there any like, like nah. people rap? So, so you I know the rappers Cursor like Cursor 360. All right, Cursor 360. Like, and so you know the other like rappers it. like Mitchos and TKO were they things then? Nah, like All right. I knew Enter and, and so I knew yeah, Schema yeah. and that yeah. from like Sydney. But yeah. the only raps I've really heard was like Cunts playing Green Line Rockin' or something, and yeah, then yeah, fucking. Yeah. That that Cursor 360 battle that. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. never knew about Trem and that. And then one yep. day, Skem. Like, okay. I've been mates with Skem for a long, long time, cuz. Before yep. he was rapping and that, like, we were both freestyling at each other, like, fucking little kids on the fucking crack. I don't, I don't know who that is. Look him up, cuz. He's Skim, dope. Yep, he's, yep. He's, he's a sick cunt, bro. Yep. But he fucking showed me, like, Brad Strutt, Trem. Yep, yep. And I, I was like, them. what the fuck, bro? Yeah. These cunts are hard. I like, like Trem. Trem's, Trem's my, one of my yeah. favourite rappers in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reminds yeah. me of that he's New York rapper. shit. And yeah, I'm yeah. all about that New York yeah, shit. Yeah, That's my rapper. Because we get no beats, bro. You know what I mean? There's yeah. no beats. Nothing. I never even took into an account a beat. Yeah. You know how people write and they write with the beat in their mind? Like they write to the beat? Yeah. I still to this day find that almost impossible to write to a beat. I don't know why. I think Word. it's because of rapping for 15 years be. without one. And so what i got to do is... I learned that like that style of uh, that rap, that New York style of rap. And the it, syllables and, and that. That's yeah. all I went on syllables. So I learned that to fill a bar, you're going to have to say somewhere between 10 to 13 syllables yeah. and that will fit a 90 BPM beat. So I just wrote these, Word? just rap after rap and every line just had 10 to 13 syllables. That's hectic. And bro. never actually rapped on a beat. That's, that's actually a fucking hectic cuz. Like, yeah. I, I wonder if anyone else has done that. Like, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard that before. So I was like, full spinning. And then, like, so the first, so when I started putting out. And you were rapping fast, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember you were rapping fast, too. I remember, like, because I was, I was, I come up off that strange music, Tech Nine, yeah, and all that yeah. type of shit. So, like, I was more into that than the Aussie shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, this cunt's hectic. He's gonna, yeah, yeah. he's gonna come out and do some things. And, like, I was like, I know this cunt from jail. Like, he actually is a weapon, too, bro. Like, half of these rappers. They're not yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, bro. So was, like in the first producer, when I first start putting out songs, the first producer that I had is he's he's mad bloke, like mad, and it was cheap and all stuff like that. But he didn't do this thing that my producer does now, and it's like if I say something out of timing, so I'd go into the booth. And try to rap a whole verse. Same, yeah. That's how I like, started. And I don't know, bro. Maybe there's gun rappers out there that can rap just verses and not one thing's out of place. Like just full, like, or you know, twenty four bars and nothing's out of place. Yeah. I can't do it. Nah. I'm hard enough. I'm hard up to go four, and I get them all the time. And it's like, all right, sweet, move on to the next four. But I was rapping on full verses, and there's things that I I don't have a trained ear for yeah. that back then. You know what I mean? And there's places that I listen too, to my old songs. You know, my very first songs, and it's like, that's so out of timing, that word. Yeah, like, and you could have fixed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, he didn't even adjust them. Yeah. I didn't even know adjusting them was a thing. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah. can go in and adjust, say, on the vocal track, and they adjust. And, and coming from where you're coming from, you're probably like, no, nah, that's fake shit. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. like, that's like auto-tune. Yeah, you're not, I, I'm I'm not I using, probably would have thought that, but I never even that. considered it. Until if I can't pro- rap it, then that's not me rapping. And my producer now... And he just looked, he goes like, so as soon as I rapped the first time with him, and he goes, he adjusted my vocals and it sounded hectic. <laughs> and then I and then, and I go, bro, what did you do? And he goes, what, like, this is what everyone does. Yeah. I go, it's not before. Like, <laughs> no, I didn't know it was a lad. thing, lad. That's- so, like, my first, like, how many songs could have been so much better <laughs> if someone just, like, nudged the word <laughs> just over? Just one word over. Yeah, bro. Like, I was left dry, lad, for that. But, yeah. I, st- um, I still do that shit because it took me ages to get comfortable with a producer, like, Cause in my raps, lad, my voice breaks here and there, and like there will be emotion where, like, at the start of the verse, you can hear that I'm literally just starting off. So I start like this and it's like that. Then by the end, I'm fucking like half crying and I'm going whatever. But if I'm punching in because I fucked up, mm. it's like I'm starting off again. So yeah. all that momentum yeah. was never built. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I used to have to spit verses all one go. Yeah. Or like it would never be that momentum that was built, and then like I would go I'd spit the verse and then there'd be one line fucked up and be like oh we'll punch on that but it wouldn't sound like the same yeah, person yeah bro it's so hard to it's get it it's a fucking different person oh, bro. So especially when you do f- f- four bars at a time or two at a time yeah the hardest part is coming in the same exactly the same yeah, like, bro, bro chilling it is on point cause I've seen chilling it do songs two years ago yeah. then comes back in oh yeah I've got to fix up one word bang and it's exactly the same as it was two years ago oh, I'm like no way. this kind's a freak bro like <laughs> he when it comes to working in the studio he's hectic bro. oh that's hectic he's off his head yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, bro. I remember like, I don't know how long ago it was, bro, but I remember, I don't know if it was in a song that you, or you were talking on, somewhere I seen you say something about like um, someone overdosed on drugs or something and their mate messaged you. I'm, I'm getting this wrong. They mate message you and it like it was, and it hit ya. I remember you you said something. A lot of shit like that. Yeah, I, I, f- I remember when I was fucking like, bro, little peep, all these cunts and fucking getting on zannies and that over in America yeah. and that cunts thought it was cool. I fucking fell for it. Yeah, and I was popping fucking five zannies on camera like it's cool. Like who the yeah. fuck does this shit, bro? And then I'm getting young kids messaging me, lad. Like I'm talking like school uniforms. Like on the nod And then like You know what it's like Being around yeah, the house yeah, Like yeah, the houses and that And then all other kids Are like cigarette burning The cunt And doing all this and that Yeah yeah And I'm like Bro that I don't condone that behaviour like, Don't fucking send that to me Like that's Oh what, and they message you Like yeah, you would be impressed They'll think it's, Like look what we're that's doing That's what influence I'm putting off to yeah, these cunts yeah, You know yeah. what I mean And then some, One one guy This fucking He's, he's made overdose And he goes Fucking He was listening to your music The whole night Before it wasn't for you It would never have happened Oh, I was like, fuck he just put it straight on you. I was like, what do you mean, cunt? Like, fuck, what is a grown man, brother? Yeah, like, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's a hard subject, bro. Like, to say, like, what is your? Are we responsible for the things that we say and the influence that we have on people? It's like it, it, it is a hard subject, bro, because there's two sides of it. It's like. It needs to be spoke about. Yeah. For sure. And obviously people know, like see the video I put out recently where I was like, before, before my last song, um, I've, mine's not about drugs, but mine's just like extreme violence. Yeah, definitely. Or, you know what I mean? I'm mean, either- if you like one four on that, they cop it as well. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and they get hated on because they just drill me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and yeah, I get hated right. because of drug and influence and that. Yeah. And like people say shit about you. Yeah. And, and it's At a hard thing. Time, it needs to be spoke about though. Yeah, because like- you can say, and I personally do believe that we do have a responsibility. Yeah, and it does influence. It does. It does influence. And uh, yeah. there's a, like a part of me that always questions. One of my biggest fears, and and like n- not not to not to make this religious at all, but like I just have this fear in say call it whatever you want, karma, whatever. Um, like I just feel like I've been arrested. For hurting people, right? Yeah. I've been arrested. I've done jail. It's this big bad thing, bro. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, it's so bad that when I tell my stories on the internet, everyone's like, why are you telling this? Like that, you know? The biggest, baddest thing. I'm Adolf Hitler. And then it's like, but what's worse? What is worse? That I I hurt one person, all right? I hurt a person. However, innocent, not innocent, whatever happens, I hurt him. I'm Adolf Hitler. But then someone can make a song that directly influences a lot of people maybe yeah. they don't go out and hurt people but, but it just draws them a little bit and normalizes it 100% and normalizes those. stuff and it nor- and music you gotta understand is like and same as movies normalizes something for decades yes bro. and and a lot of people and they think what so how does one person hurt someone and end up in jail and the next person can glorify hurting someone even movie stars not just music and a bunch of kids are not gonna walk away from it. remember that line you said fucking oh I, I fucking cried the first time i backed down to a fucking fight oh yeah and head monsters that's right you know what i mean yeah. imagine how many kids now are like Yep, yep, yep. You know yep. what I mean? I know like, the first bro, time I got hit and I backed down. But it's, yeah. but, but, uh, like, uh, do you feel now sometimes maybe fucking it's probably better to back down than some of these kinds of lads, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Or yeah, you could yeah, just yeah, go 100%. to jail for murdering a cunt. Yeah, 100%. Just because you cause you a grunk on the street. Yeah. Like, if some drunk calls you a dog. Yeah. You could just leave that cause, you know what I mean? But. And, and that's, that's what, that's what that's I mean. Like growing up, you learn shit music like that, song, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like I, I did make a lot of mistakes with how I taught these cunts, but I feel like as they grow with me and if they're still hanging there they're learning now that like that was a mistake and yeah. hopefully that they can learn from my mistakes yeah because i'm not trying to fucking glorify the shit and if people would know like we've both had hard lives just yeah. because of the fucking choices we've made mm. you know what i mean like we're both not dumb cunts yeah there's a lot of cunts in jail that are that are fucking dumb cunts then <laughs> they're, they're gronks yeah. they're dead set gronks <laughs> like, i can look at you now and say uh, yeah. you could have been anything you could have yeah. you could have chose to be anything and fucking yeah, probably yeah. killed it in it yeah yeah you know what i mean you're a smart cunt you know you're right yeah and i'm, I'm pretty much the same bro yeah. but we both made the wrong choice yeah 100 percent. i don't want to encourage cunts to do that yeah. but at the same time the truth needs to be told yeah how i got to here 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I want people to know their mistakes. And, and I there want is a difference know between sides. telling your story and telling your, what, what's true to you yeah. and telling people to do something. Exactly. You know yourself how much I cop that in my original like hood talks or hood logics and this and that where I'm saying we stole this this way if we had beef I would jump out this is how it's I would like brick someone it's like you're trying someone. to train people how to yeah. do it. it's I, like I'm cuts. telling legit things that I've done yeah. I would brick someone like this I jumped out the bushes I stabbed someone this is how we'd break in the cars this is how me and the boys when we're on heroin would sneak into things exactly like, you know I made it to the Daily Telegraph Bro. I made, I was in the Daily Telegraph. I was I was like nearly on TV on the news. I remember, yeah, Australian bro, gangster they're, they're, with his own language. Bro, like people <laughs> carrying on. How and then like they act. Everyone's taking it like, how can you tell people to go and do this? Like who am I know. telling? Yeah, who am I telling? What so it's, now it's like, yeah. Anyway, like they they're just dirty that you tell your story. You know you know what I found? They want you to be. And fuck them, fuck them. <laughs> yes. I'll never be that. Yes. Even now, you say, you say, like I'm constantly trying to t teach whoever, and it's not <coughs> kids, but most of these people that I'm they're that fucking grown men, grown yes, men, lad. older 100%. than me or my age, and and it's like, and I do, t and like I'm out there actively. But anyway, it's not a bridge of what I'm actively doing. But I, I just want to make the point is that I learned that they want the Australian public, they want you to be um, apologetic. And they want you to be like groveling at their feet. Like, I'm sorry, I was a putrid criminal and I was this and that. It's yeah, like that. Nah, and if you tell your story with pride, they can't hack it. And especially I've, if people listen. Hard, lad. Yeah, Go through my right. comment section, you'll hear the same thing. Like, yeah. look at this fucking junkie bridging up about it. Um, like, I'm fucking laughing about how I got fucked over by an Uber driver. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not bridging up saying I'm arm robber. Like, yeah, guys, yeah, take yeah, it yeah, easy. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, like, right. who do you think you are, you hard cunt? Yeah, what? Oh man, have you ever met that. a hard guy? Like, do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm but, a fucking idiot. Yeah. But, and so, like, but it, and it did come to a point for me where I was like, um, like I said, with the karma thing, and, and I made that comparison to like, I started thinking, what is what is worse that I that I um, actually did commit a crime, or that I rap in a way that glorifies crime, and and it makes me think, by all of these songs and all of these movies, what about movies, bruh? Like, we talk about music. Gangster movie every day, I what watch, guys. Yeah, bruh. Like, <laughs> it's so easy just to say to a rapper, look what you're rapping about, like, stabbing someone, this and that. And then you watch a movie like Scarface. Yes, lad. Ocean's Eleven. What about the bloke who wrote Ocean's Eleven? Is he, like, some criminal? Is, is, he, is he a fucking cat burglar mastermind? Yeah, bruh. Like, like, is he, he doing telling, it? Telling, yeah. the whole, telling the whole world to rob banks? Like, yeah, where do you draw the line, you, you know you're what I mean? Bro. Um, I never thought about it that way before, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Can't start seem to be winning at movies. You know what I mean? You don't see right. like. And movies are worse. Maybe bro. a Quentin Tarantino or something like that. They'll have a go at. Do they? Says the N word heaps of times in Django and like. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of blood in fucking Kill Bill stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll have goes at him, but. Oh, do they? It's not the yeah. fucking. It's I've not like. Seen them. It's not like these drill rappers in England that are getting yeah. their whole show shut down, their whole Instagram deleted, and then going to jail for rapping after. That's like an FBI. They? They're getting like. But I don't know nothing about bro, this. Bro, it's so like an FBI. I don't even know pommy rappers. It's like an FBI on rapping. That's it's it. like a gang. It's like a gang. Vo it's like getting a gang tattoo. You go to jail because you get a gang affiliated in America in some states. No way. These drill cunts, they fucking have rapped about ongoing cases and murders, hmm. and they've been sanctioned not to rap anymore. So now they they belly up. That's how that drill shit started. They is, is it? Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. It, it turned into a lot of cunts. I'm going to laugh because a lot of cunts are bellying up now about it. because don't they don't want to cop the consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of cunts are bellying up because they want to be like, yeah, fuck your block, but I don't want you to see my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a there's a fine line. Drill rap went went nuts. Yeah. But they they a couple cunts have gone to jail in England for that. Yeah. And even one four getting their shows shut down and that over here. I thought it was about to get like kick off over here. Yeah. It's fucking it's pretty full on lad. That's but like it. you said, bro, there's cunts in like we're watching gangster movies and there's fucking this and that coming out and they're legit true stories, some of these cunts. For like, sure. Like, and they, they glamorize the same things yes. to a greater extent. Hundred percent. They performed visually. Bro, Scarface made me that? think I never needed a job, bro. I swear <laughs> to God. I was <laughs> like, right. what? Is that how easy it is? <laughs> you just come from Cuba and just get yourself a green card and cash on, lad. Let's go, cuz I'm already here. Yeah. Like, fuck, bro. Oh, that was intense, bro. Scarface fucked up. He's the cunt's lives in America, lad. <laughs> it did, eh? Scarface had a little, a little half a percent, got a, 
a tribute to my attitude, I reckon. Yeah, I huh, love that movie. Huh, it's a good movie, Cody. Yeah. Especially a little montage. He's got poor. <laughs> at one, five minutes later, they play fucking Take It to the Limit. And he's rich at the other yeah, end, Cody. Yeah, we don't yeah, even yeah, see yeah. the dark end. Yeah. Fucking Scarface, you can't. I never had no montage. <laughs> I was fucking getting my head punched in and fucking getting touch ups from all the older boys and that. Like, it took ages. Fuck yeah. that shit. No Scarface. Yeah, bro, because there, there was this thing. A lot of people don't know it. I've said many times my favorite rapper is Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs. Man. And, um, but, and put it this way, all right? This bloke is never, he's never uh, like a conspiracy rapper. Yeah. He's not, he's, yeah. and, and I don't like the word conspiracy, all right? As, and I'm not using it, but, you know, in, in the, the critics, they'll call them conspiracy rappers, whatever. They just rap the opposite, whatever. He never speaks, of, he just does his thing. Yeah. The bloke's been rapping for 30 something years, yes. doesn't talk about nothing, gets on with his life, except for one time. He talked by, and it's one of the craziest interviews or whatever um, bombs that has has been dropped. Was it's, he older? Um, what happened? Like, no, no, he- no. So right at the beginning of his career in uh, 1991. So this is when, back when EZA was still alive, when EZA like yeah. signed them, right? Yeah. And they just come to Ruthless Records. Oh, yeah, they are. They're yeah. Ruthless Records. Yeah, yeah. Ruthless Records. Um, well, up until like 2000, there they were. There was some beef there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, so he says, bro, and, and like, watch the interview. It's... Um, Crazy Bone talks about some secret. Just type in those key words, you'll see it. Um, And he says, bro, like, and this is a thing that probably happens a lot, but he was part of this. So in 1991, they got him, um, another member from Bone. He doesn't say any other names. They got another member from Bone and all the other leading rappers at that time. And they took him. Nas, Jay-Z, just just anyone. Yeah, whoever it was. Yeah, yeah, whoever was popping off. And um, they got him. They told him there's this, don't talk about this. You can't speak about it to anyone. Or like these people were the elites, what you call the elites. So the all the major labels, the executives of it and the people above them, they wanted a meeting with the top rappers. So they all went to some house. I think it was in like Beverly Hills, some nice house and had some mad meeting and it was all crazy shit going on, nice feeds, this and that. And no one knew why they were there. Um, so, all right, he's there with all, just famous people, maybe 10, 20 of them. And they went in and they m- were made to sign these contracts. And anyway, big secret, blah, blah, blah. They all done little pinky promises, whatever. And they, But they were told, if you disagree with what we're saying, or if you speak about it, you would disappear from the limelight like that. You just, you're gone. Your career's ended. Uh-uh. And so what they were told, and he didn't come out with this until I think it was like 15 years later when it didn't matter anymore. He'd already yeah, done true. with his career. You get knocked for saying something. Like yeah, that. yeah. And he, they, he sat there with the elites and the and the, the record label owners. But this is to show the attitude of these people and the conspiracy that is in our media, movies and music. 100% um, fucked up. And thing. how much the elites understand that music and movies do influence people so what they said to him was along the lines of these elites have invested in a lot of private prisons and it is the job of the rappers to from now on fill those prisons with kids through their music literally so they were told whatever you're rapping about we want you to glamorize anything that puts kids in jail we want that we want you to tell these people to sell drugs and murder each other and that was that was their uh, conditions of being famous and they did and that and there's so this shows the types of things that happen and um and so and he even uh, going off what he'd done from 1991 to 2000 he the went, art of war uh, and against the industry yeah yeah, yeah yeah oh no no for that period of time he because they're really religious yeah they're really religious bone thugs they always rap about that, yeah, God. yeah, yeah you know what sure. i mean but through that period of time you listen to their music and you listen to everyone's music and everyone is like there was an active conspiracy in the american hip-hop community in the 90s to get kids locked up and they had no choice about it and it and it, crazy bones the only want to speak about that Whoa. but it just goes to say to show like as if it only happened that once. Yes. As if it doesn't happen to actors. As if it doesn't happen to actors. Like, bro, as, as if it, well, like, think about what we were saying before about all the cunts on Joe, like this little peep, little fucking yeah. et, all these. That, that, 100%. That, that come out of nowhere, real fast, everyone's on prescription pills. Uh, exactly. And, uh, what's Let's the just chance? say, for example, they got the tops. For sure. Of these did. young cunts who aren't even famous yet. And yeah. say, look, paint so this your, is your subject matter from now paint on. Paint your fucking hair pink. Yeah. And start repping that fucking drugs later. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. Boom, yeah. epidemic later. And, and it shows like that that actually happens. 
And um, and like it's it's one of the most insightful things that Cozy Vance spoke about that, and it's so meaningful. True. But it doesn't get any like his interview. Just no one even really knows about it. But and the it the also day, shows money, our Cozy. influence that it, it proves our influence. It definitely as, does. As, as um, like it does for sure. Yeah. And I've like I've, I still to this day think like fuck, I did the wrong thing a couple times. Like mm. like I said, I took fucking pills on camera trying to be a mad kind, and I actually thought I wasn't being a grunt. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now I'm not thinking, what the fuck? Like well, that. you weren't even thinking about it. You were just true. It's I different in your circumstances. It, their circumstances, they're actively conspiring to do this. Yeah. You were just being yourself. But I did have an influence, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but you and still just, had it, of course. Like you said with the karma thing, lad, like I knew. But I think intent I was, makes I was the fuck. difference there. You're right, bro. Yeah, it's 100%. intent. It's difference between intentionally going out. So like, you're going to make me rich if I get these kids in jail and on drugs? Easy All right, done. I'll do it. <laughs> And even though you did still have an influence, and and I have an influence, but that was never the intent. Yeah, the inti- I just not being, what we were told to do that. Being myself, yeah, exactly, and like un- unforgivingly, unapologetically yeah. being ourselves. Yeah. But let me like go back to like because you were just in jail recently. When did you get out? Yeah, just like last year. Yeah. Just last year. Just were you parole. there in COVID? Yeah. You were in COVID. Yeah. So right. but I'm in- interested because I know like. Putrid. I can tell me, bro. Like, what what was going on in? Case? Explain the situ- the putridness of it during COVID, brother. Like, because um, it looked for us how putrid it is. Imagine yes. for an inmate, bro. Like, no, like no drugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like no drugs, lad. Like, yeah, that's that's the half the thing getting cunts through. Is it true they got? I never seen so many fights over a fucking phone. I've done jail like plenty of times. Yeah, cunts were punching on over the phone every day, two or three times, cuz. No way. F- for weeks, lad. The whole time I was in Silverwater, I can't punch on over the phone. Oh, yeah? All because no drugs and shit, lad. And I got, w- and were we in MRR? Yeah, for a little bit, but yeah. then I went out to Windsor. Uh, yeah, yeah. And nah. Uh, hey, in Windsor, you got iPads or something? The boys keep telling me, you got right. iPads in they your just, cell. I'm yeah. like, oh, hey. While I was there, they gave them to you, but oh, they, yeah? they don't have nothing on them. Nothing They on got them, like mate. a paint, which is mad. You can fucking do some graffiti. And they got books. like, But all the books, they're like old fucking like. I, I don't even so remember any, any of the books. Yeah, like weird old e-books, bro. And, do, do people and read it new. because it's on an iPad? I was. I oh, was, yeah. Because I, I, I know the I was books, reading this book. Just, ah, I was like just reading this book. It was called like My Heroine, but yeah. it was like the chick heroine. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? With like an the, e. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm reading this, can't fucking yeah. My Heroine. That took me like <laughs> fucking three or four pages to yeah. click on. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. And so like by the way, now, lad, we're reading it. Yeah. There was a period with no visits. No visits at all, bro. When I was in there, they brought biz- visits back. Like, I was in there for all of it. Like, I've no visits when I got in there. Everyone's on iPads. Yeah. You could get fucking five visits a fucking week in MRR, even like, yeah. block back like it was. Yeah. And then going to Windsor, there's like they've only got one visit for everyone on a weekend. For Saturday or Sunday. You can only, yeah. get, you can only get one visit each. MRR was visits hour. every day but Tuesday or some shit. Yeah. Back when I was there. And yeah. it fucking. It, it glitches out Your people are glitching like, Oh so your visits Are on your iPad Yeah A couple calls. of the boys Having bats and that Fucking Oh no way All types of shit <laughs> Like Fucking All types of shit lad. But It was just The drug situation lad. You know yeah. That cunts can be content Chasing fence to fence To fence yeah, to yeah, fence yeah. To fence No I don't do I don't do my jail like that But yeah. a lot of cunts do bro And sure. they distract themselves Chasing each Chasing Yeah them. And that's how they get. So it's hard to judge someone in that. I used to be judgmental, but then again, like, look at the circumstances they're in, taken away from the world, their life, everything, and it's like that's their escape. Like, I I was to be honest, fuck, I don't give. I'm not going back to jail, so fuck you. I I was was getting op J's all the time. You know what I mean? So when visits were on, yeah, I was always eight twelve. Yeah, and then every time I'd go back, cunts knew me from somewhere, and they're like, "Nah, he's gonna be right in a couple weeks," and just cash me up. So like, I was always doing well. Yeah. And by this time, lad, everyone was like, nah, thousand bucks for my hips train. No like, way. Hundred dollar Megs, like. Hundred dollar ill days. Bro, <laughs> like, so Megs is like strip, bup. You, you know let's that, say, thousand dollars a strip. It's a, let's say it's about that big. Yeah. If you cut that. Into. Tw- into uh, eight pieces. Eight pieces, Eight yeah. pieces. So you fucking get like a match, about a match. Yeah. 
half. But of, you'd be lucky if they cut into eight. These cunts are cutting eyelashes, lad. Yeah, you're not getting eight. They're getting cut 11 or 12, 12. You know I was thinking, yeah, eight. They're eight. doing well. No way, you get one eighth of a strip. Well, you come in with your like, little so back Salvation then it was Army like, fucking thing with your measuring yeah. book. You back know then they got it was the a measuring? pouch. 20 bucks was for <laughs> one of those squares he's talking about. And now he's saying it's a hundred bucks, and they're probably it's smaller. It's a thousand bucks for the full for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. A thousand bucks, cause fucking sixteen hundred bucks. Bungers would have never or nobody, nobody. Yeah, I know. Like one who's grade that got done, and fucked it for everyone. And like, no way. What was, about jail? Yeah, M double R. M double R. Yeah, and like the boys there, like like that's a blocky jail, and they, you know what I mean. So a couple of the boys there, they were like, "Fuck this, bro!" Like, oh yeah, whoever fucked that up for them, like, poor yeah. cunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Silly <laughs> cunt. <man. laughs> uh, it was on. It was all good, yeah. and then it just stopped. Dinner trays, dinner trays, dinner trays. And so nothing. people in jail, there's no more bupe in jail, I heard. So when I was in jail, there was it's always bupe. It's an injection. It's an injection, so it's not divertible. So the main half, I would say 80% of the source of jail drug use is comes from the inmates who are on prescription bupe and go to the clinic every day yeah. and would divert it for the boys. So it's like, getting a tablet. That, it's like going, you get in a tablet and you take the tablet out of your mouth, yep. you don't swallow it, and then you sell the tablet. But yep. it's not, it's a strip. It's like and so after out. like 15, 16 years of that going on, that's every yard in every jail in New South Wales had someone on the bupe and was feeding the 100%. addicts. All and all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, a half of them protection. But <laughs> And all of a sudden they changed that to the inmates now get an injection once every so often. Three months or something, cause like, Which is, comp there's no diverting that. There's no, and that's the one. Like, I wonder I've how many people use all kinds of yarns. Out, all kinds. I've seen, like, if you rub it, if you rub it heaps hard, like you fucking, you kicks in more. And, like, oh, yeah? Like, if, you, if you just suck it out, I'm like, no way. But no, telling me, no are you way. telling me there has to be, I just, I know Joe inside 100% out. 100% there is. There has to be a time. Where an inmate just got his injection. No oh, mate, stood him for it and sucked it out like a fucking Mums snake bite lady. <laughs> Mums, it had to happen. Or yes. they were friends and he come out and he goes, bruh. And like they would have some tactic where they hold their arm so it doesn't go in properly. Bro. And they quit bruh suck on it. I, I bet swear it had God. to happen. Because spumantes. Yes, dad. Spew, so you don't know what spumantes are? Um, not many people talk about this because it was like an old school thing. Someone gets their methadone and vomits it up. Like All right. legit because this methadone is like water because you can't just hold it sometimes you can hold it in your mouth but you gotta go uh, oh you gotta get inspected so you gotta fully swallow it yeah. and then spew it up with whatever you had for breakfast if you had breakfast or whatever it gets else, filtered cause. through a sock I've seen someone do it through a loaf of seven slices <laughs> filter it through bread because you know daily you get seven slices of yep, bread yeah 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 boom you get seven slices perfect for a spew I was like you don't fucking chat lad like no way. Mean, this cunt's like 25 bro I yeah. was like no way you're gonna do so that they, so what they do is they because it's liquid they swallow it because it gets inspected before they leave this is how hard up it is the main time I seen this was at June because you're in a country jail so it's hard for people to get visitors there's less drugs in the city yeah, so true. boys would come back on the methadone and vomit it vomit into a sock all right, they'd, they'd have this tactic of drinking warm water. Uh, drink a lot of warm water before you go in. So it, it's, a, it's, so it's, it's like on the top or something yeah, like so that. Yeah, so it sits yeah, on the, so, there's yeah. theories. It probably doesn't work. Yeah. They would vomit. They'd have like a milk carton that they empty. They'd put a sock in a milk carton, like liner, <laughs> and they'd vomit into that. All right. And so maybe like four or five percent of that is methadone. And then they'd like lift the sock up slowly. So any bread or last night's dinner gets caught in the sock. Then you just have juice. That is probably like 4% methadone. Like tang. <laughs> um, they mix it with tang, so powdered cordial. Yeah. You mix it with tang so you can't taste that as vomit and sell it. <laughs> yeah. And they would sell that and people would... I know people... And, and half the cunts that were doing that, there's no doubt they're riddled with fucking hep C and the rest of it. Because like if you're if you're spewing up your donut... 100%. That, you're not a young fella. Like, you're not, if you're, methadonians in general aren't the fun. Like, they don't have the cleanest blood. Yeah, like, yeah, like I'm trying to be... Yeah. Bro. But like... Um, just think of it. It's a, it's an old Methodonian bloke. You know what I mean? So he's lived a colourful life. He's probably getting bashed and if but, he doesn't do it. And you know what the <laughs> weirdest thing is, but like in June A when I was there, it was older boys that I, specifically two older boys that I looked up to and glamorised as a kid. Um, cool, cool guys, mad money makers, freshest clothes. I want to be like them when I'm older. When I was 15, 16, and I was in June when I was 19, 20 this time, and I seen those same people drinking uh, vomit. I've seen the same thing, cuz. And then they'd like, I was like, what? Do you run in this backwards race my whole life, yeah, cuz? Like, I'm at these fucking 
new bars or something about fucking exactly that story, bro. Like, I felt like I was running a backwards race this whole time. Like, I was looking up to these cunts and I was trying to get there. And I was running so hard there that yeah. I thought I was in the lead, but really everyone's going that way. That's yeah. why I'm in the fucking lead with no one around me. Yeah, I was running backwards trying to impress these gronks that are doing her and doing yeah, this right. and fucking get, oh, I've got this much of a habit. I can run this. And yeah, yeah. my cunts are bragging about how big of a shot they can have. Yeah, hard. I've seen cunts do that. Be yeah. like, you're a weak cunt. You can't. Oh, yeah. That's what? standard. What the yeah, fuck's yeah. wrong with you cunts? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's fucked up in the area, bro. Yeah, I, I remember. And, and like, I can, I can. Um, it's it's sad though, cause I seen it happen to my dad, cause like not fucking drinking spewies, but like I just seen they can't get weathered away, and just yeah. like and and he's got a heart. Yeah, he's got a heart. You might even know him from jail, lad. Like I'll tell you later. Uh, yeah, you yeah. probably would. He's done a lot of jail. He's yeah. a, he's a good cunt, bro. And he's, yeah. I, I don't have a bad word to say about him, except he's just weak to drugs. Yeah, and like, that's it, cause yeah. and ice fried cunts. Like he was on the heroin happily his whole life. The only thing the heroin forced him to do was do urns to get on. Yeah, of course. And support his missus' habit, yeah, maybe yeah. get his missus working. Yeah. But it, well, he wasn't scattered where I can't even talk to him. Yeah. Now he is, bro. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a different person. He said, when you see, when you said that, I was going to say, when you said that, men, the mentality of the people and they're saying, like, bridging up about, the, oh, you, bro, you only have small sh- I smashed this. And, yeah. like, and, and you know what, bro? There was a time, and I, I know that 100%, uh, that I was like that. There was a time that I was like that. I remember this time where this was only I remember the 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 year before I got off drugs in 2007, but in 2006 down the block, I overdosed twice that year. And one of the one of the times that I overdosed, I couldn't be revived through Narcan. So they took me away as a dead person, whatever. It's all in the book bar, fucking six yeah, Narcan. They took later, me yeah, six <laughs> and I woke up in ICU cords hanging out of me. Um, Need to and get then, and then I said, <laughs> took them all out of me and escaped. I kept my life by the, by that. I literally died. And I, I, you, I, in the following months, I got arrested not long later, of course. Bro, that wasn't enough to make you quit, though. No, nah, not only that. Day. No, no, no. That was a badge of honor. Yeah. So you see how you said people would go around saying, like, oh, but you said that. People would tell their overdose stories. And I would tell mine like they're gronks, like, but yeah. like, you know how much of a mad can I am? You got on the died. street. <laughs> bro, I full died, lad. Like, bro, Narcane, you got, bro, I died, but I woke up with cords, lad. Like, <laughs> like it's like a thing, up. bro. And, and once you're in that mentality, but you yes. don't know any different. So yes. the little things that you can look at now as putrid things, they're just, their badges are honor back then. Bro, 100%. Yeah. And I think that in jail, we, like I said this the other day, I said like, someone said, what's the worst thing about jail? I said, bro, to be honest, it's just surrounded by gronks, lad. Like, literally, there's not many cunts no. that you can sit and have a convo like this yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you're rare to get a celly like you or like me, bro. like that cunts that you yeah. can, like, fully kick back with, you can be clean, you yeah, can have your sure. shit. Like, it's it's not all, either you got some gronk that you tell them what to do, yeah. or, like, rarely you get one of the boys as a celly. And, yeah, like, yeah. even then, you don't want to live with that cunt because yeah. like, <laughs> you end up not being boys, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, true. <laughs> like, it's hard, bro. That's the hardest part for me, cuz. Having sellies is a, like a fine, um, yeah. like a fine art, bro. I like. couldn't imagine you and Proey being sellies. That would have been funny, cuz. Because these are both, these are both like big characters, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, me and Proey were sellies. I couldn't imagine it. In 2013 at Long Bay for, for a long time. It was the year after I, I come in and went back to s- Sydney for court. And we'll sell this for a long time, by like six months, and um, it was good, bro. He's I a mad yeah, yeah, it was good. It He's was a good. mad cunt, lad. But, okay. <laughs> but uh, I used to have him, like, the same thing, grappling. <laughs> no, he was telling, yeah. me, he was telling yeah. me, like, a mortal technique. He's going, this guy used to fucking just, like, spit the bars, because I was yeah. like, yeah, true. He's like, I told him. Legit, this is a true story. When he gets out of jail and becomes a rapper and does all this stuff, bloke's been here for... 12 years now 11 yeah. years straight yeah has he or 10 years something like that near a decade but um when he gets uh, but i fool i fool mounts i was spinning bars that hard lad he 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 he, he uh, renounced the rap no mums ask him i remember he, he renounced ta- rap bro i had, the, I had I remember him he was telling me he was trying to tell you to chew he was like you need to slow it down a bit you need to get like you need to slow down so cunts can hear you need to dial oh, it yeah. down a bit yeah, yeah. Like, nah. yeah. <laughs> 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 this one time but he full renounced rap uh, he was listening to my bars and he's like because he didn't have 
he was um spitting the other way. He was spitting like the the like rhythm. The fifty cent kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, like the, the fifty more cent. Gangster part of it. And he goes, but there was this thing. He went out in the yard, and the boys even see. Goes, but I'm not listening to the shit you're saying, bro. How the fuck? I'm not rapping, bro. <laughs> I can't say that shit. And then I said to him, I go, I played the. I made him feel bad. I go, but this, you do the rhythm stuff, lad. Like yeah, you know I, the cool stuff. And he goes, yeah, yeah, all right. And the next day, got him back on again. Bro, yeah, yeah, fucking day that he want to rap. <laughs> no, lad, I fucking feel that all the time. Why are you fucking chilling at songs? I go, fuck this. You know, Alex Jones <laughs> can't. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah. Some of his songs, is, he goes, bro, you want to get on the feature? He sends me like 16 and I'm like, fucking no. <laughs> like, I would, I'd love to be on that song, bro, but like, I can't rap that good, bro. Yeah, You're yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> he's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. The technical shit that he says that people don't even get. Yeah. It's like, whoa. <laughs> fucking, I can't be on that song, lad. I'm yeah. too intimidated. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah this is the thing bro like i hate even talking about jail because like these motherfuckers think i'm bridging up like yeah. oh you think you're a hard car it's like bro if if i was having a conversation with any of the boys and they i said, said this they're not gonna think i'm a hard car yeah they're gonna see the comedy of it and yeah, be yeah, like yeah. oh you still you can't you got busted on i know people you know what i mean but kind of like what you think you're bridging up because you've done jail it, it doesn't it's matter like, what no bro had, like i'm not proud of that <laughs> I, I don't you can't let uh, yeah, but people are, that's what I learned, bro. You, you know me, I'm the fucking master of um, stirring up the, <laughs> the, the the peanut gallery the on the internet, lad. Stirred, but man. like, they people choose to view, they, they go into things with negative minds, bro, and they choose to hear what they want to hear. They yeah. want to hear, but it doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't matter what you say, bro. And like, Facebook's the worst for it. Bro, it doesn't matter what you say, bro. I, I've I, heard some rants, cuz. Like, I fucking like, one time was in a triple one film clip and I had to, like, dress my missus and me in school uniforms, right? Yeah. And then there's this fucking girl, like, crackhead, full crackhead, fucking, like, <laughs> <laughs> she's going, like, we know you're a fucking pedophile. You fucking dress your missus up in a school uniform just oh, to fuck it. And, and in the photo, I was going like that. She was like, and you're sticking yeah. your finger up at us to say fuck you. And, like, Bro, Triple One fucking paid me to dress yeah. my missus like that kind. It was part of the film clip, you motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this cunt's gone like an hour rant on, yeah, and yeah. it just went viral, nah, cunts, because yeah, yeah. cunts were laughing at it. Yeah, bro, people are always, I noticed that, bro, they're always going to hear what they want to hear to justify their their yarn and their rant. Like, bro, like, if you, if some of the videos that I make on, like, you know, I always make videos. I'm yeah. so, you know, bro, like, I'll make a video about like um but it can be that backwards i make a video about why are people racist towards indians i literally have indians attacking me because i'm racist towards them Bruh. I, I make a video about why is uh why are uh, the hypocrisy when everyone used to hassle muslim women for covering their face yeah. and now they're running around cover your face case because and then i have Mus subject but, to but then i have yeah. muslims in the comment section Telling me I'm gonna smash you, you hate Muslims. It's like, bro, what video are you watching? Yeah, I feel you, cuz. And then I make a, like, it just it doesn't matter what you say. Like, I make one about, I play games, all right? I'm, I play video games and I'm, and I'm laughing because in the gamer community, some uh, video gamers think they're cooler than others. And then people take their time out of uh, their day to snapshot me playing video games and saying, you play video games too. <laughs> but the, the video is about me playing yeah, video yeah, games. I'll, like, I'll put that up like, here for that. So, like, bro, they just hear what they want, bro. So that's why, like, don't matter what you do, you're never gonna. It's not our job to impress everyone. I don't give a fuck. It isn't. It isn't. Anyway, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck like, to it be isn't honest, our job. My whole life, I've been trying to piss cunts off, <laughs> especially with my music, lad. You know what I mean? Fuck it, like. Yeah, this is, I, I, I loved. There was a little stage. Yeah, I loved pissing cunts yeah, off when I was running for lad, um, running country. for prime minister, Spaniard twenty twenty six. Yeah, yeah I loved lad. it, Steve yeah. Irwin. Jesus in that. Yeah, I remember oh, you said something about Steve Irwin. Cunts were like, "How dare you?" Yeah, yeah, no, that's why. That's a fucking legend. No matter what I said, no matter what I said, I had all these people was like, oh, f "Fuck you, Spaniard, this and that." I thought, yeah, and the more they said it, I was like, "Bro, this is popping off, lad." Uh -huh. Who's their idol? Bro. Steve Irwin and Peter Brock. Let's go. Easy, yeah. cuz, easy. Peter like, Brock. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, lad, what are you doing, that lad? Peter Brock. Yeah, I love you, Pete, but it is what it is, yeah. lad. You just, <laughs> you just fucking said the wrong way one day. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, I fucking was gonna ask you, fucking um, I've, this scene right? That's always been about. I'm staunch as fuck. You know what I mean? Like even back in the day, like I feel like I was one of the first rappers who kind of made himself a bit softer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I kind of showed my sensitive side and that. Yep. I was in my feelings and that. Yeah. 
But Aussie rap's always been about like I'm staunch cars and I do this and that, right? Or rap in general, yeah. Bro, out of the rappers I see, you're one of the, the staunchest kind of out of right? You do a film clip wearing a fucking dog collar yeah. and not one person said a word. Oh, no, what if I did said, that? What if I No, did no, that? no, people said something. Nah, people brother, said I mean rappers. I mean oh, rappers. other rappers. What if I did that? What, what are they going to say? What if Chillin' It did that? What are they going to say? That's right, cuz. No. I just thought like, that's an Aussie scene for you right um, there, cuz. What, yeah. cunts, cunts want to bridge up about being this and that and they're not going to do yeah, nothing? Yeah, yeah. But they let that go down and not say nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cuz, I feel yeah. like if I did that, I'm blacklisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But cunts yeah, know, yeah. lad, not to fuck around. Like, what are they, they going to do to you? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I wondered that. I went, why the fuck are these it, other rappers it not mentioning be. it? Because I could guarantee half of these rappers would have been like, you're a fucking dog, husky. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Oh, you reckon? If you've done it, they would have said it to 100%, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one said nothing to you. Yeah, Only yeah. fans and just, trolls. Just, um, yeah, yeah, it random accounts. But you'd think that um, some yeah. cunt would say something. Yeah, yeah. Like, Do you know what that day, was about? Back, I don't I know um, that Melvin cunt story. Yeah, no. yeah. So, no, no, no. It's, it's not like there's a big story to it. It's just that the film clip was... Um, his intro so that was my idea it's like what oh, to do for a film you know how it is to get an idea right. for a film it's clip brother. For the whole you thing, can man. only stand cool in front of different backgrounds for so yeah, many there's times there's only so many legal yeah. walls you want to fuck yeah, up in yeah, front yeah, of yeah that's it bro <laughs> so like I'm thinking um, the song's Melvin Manhoff I'm going to bring his aggression it's one of my MMA songs I've done a Sakuraba I've done a Belfort and it's Melvin Manhoff so I thought man. he, he had a mad intro um, and he has this Really awkward dance. It's like a shuffle. He can't dance. What nation was he? Melvin Manhoff is Dutch. Yeah. He's an African Dutch. So he's African, but like full Dutch. Yeah. Um, speaks Dutch. And um, that was his intro bar. And if you watch him do it, it's actually scary bar. The bloke's an abs. He's a middleweight. Absolute scary weapon. One of the scariest guys. He's like like, Vanderlei Silver kind. Of like you look at their head and you're like, he's, he's a different like fighter, that, bro. He's, like, like he's a murderer. That, he's not he's, a fighter. He's scarier <laughs> than Vanderlei Silva. And, yeah. and he used to come in. He's short. All right, but just full midget muscle like that, lad. And he's so explosive. And he comes in with a collar on. He comes in with a Spartan skirt. And there's like his coach is like holding him back and he's like jeeing him up. You're trying to get yeah, And he's yeah. like, it's like as if he's an attack dog and oh, he's ready to that. go. And his coach is holding him back and he's like, he's, he's, he's iron, iron off the, the yeah. opponent. If it's not Aussie it's like, culture, go, lad, boom. then cunts, no cunts get that yeah. anyway. You so know that's what, I mean? what it was. It was a replication of that. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I know. But I like yeah. that shit. I like shit that has a story, cuz. That's yeah, the whole yeah. fucking point, bro. Yeah, and, and, and that's and actually, I wanted to do it again. And to have the conversation, that's another thing, lad. Yeah. Like half these cunts might not know that story, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's good to get yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. out. Like, that, that's, that's what I want. But there was gangster. plenty of um, random comments. Look at Spaniel for you. I saw your dog, lad. I guarantee none of these rappers who are going to plan on doing upcoming shows in this city would have said anything. All right? And that's a fact, cuz. And, yeah, and, no, and no. if it was me or if it was chilling it, God bless, he would have got eaten alive, cuz. Yeah. Every rapper would be like, yeah, I think that a lot of rappers too are the same. Maybe I'm just going off what you said, but um, I think a lot of people... They just they don't might, want to smoke, lad. No, no, I'm not saying that. I think they, they might have me confused with, like, a really angry person, bro. Like, I really don't care, bro. Like, like I, I won't even I won't even fight, um, fight someone in the street, bro. Like, I'm not... I think they... It's a lot to lose. I, could, I yeah, remember bro. once I seen you, you slapped that cunt for fucking calling your girl... Was that, and even that, bro. That was and like, I remember after it, there was a video, me, but it got deleted. Yeah. There, there was a little video of you after it going... Bro, why the fuck did I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, see how dumb I am, yeah, bro? Yeah. And you would say it, but I, that's not up anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Look, to tell you the truth, and any rapper could say anything they want about me, and I wouldn't do a thing. Yeah, it wouldn't keep me like eh? I wouldn't <laughs> even... Uh, you know why I wouldn't even know they said it? True. Because I don't go on social media, but sometimes I do go on Facebook. That's the only one I go on. So then I would have to learn about it like two weeks later if someone's trying to troll me and going, do you know, mate, he said this about you? And I'd learn it in a Facebook comment in the time I go on it so then I'd have to go and I'd ask my mate did someone say something then? two yeah. weeks later and I wouldn't even care bro. I got this first I'm gonna do fight people the other week I put this first up up because as a, my mate's got this concept for albums the 2000 Olympics you know, Sydney mm -hmm. how, how many earners what were they doing when the Olympics were on mm -hmm. earners, earners were killing it searchers yep, were yep, searching yep. lad yep. and that's the concept for his album bro. Mike Pompey shout out to you he's a sick cunt lad one of the best yeah? you should suss him he's hot that's mad he's fucking what's going on with you and your music <laughs> Killing it, cause trust me, yeah. I'm fucking signing deals, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, like just like I just don't like talking about it, but it's yeah. just like cunts invested money, proper big film clips. COVID slowed me down, writers block slowed me down for yeah. the like 
being in jail, I just got creativity sucked out of me that I only yeah. had one story and it was like how I've been shit goaded by the system and yeah. like I don't fucking care about that. Yeah. But my, my new music now is hectic, lad. Like fucking. Well, you say it's implying it's a di- different direction. Yeah, cause yeah. like it's less, it's less expressing myself in a way that like I just have to get it off my chest. Yeah. And it's more like I'm making music now. Yeah. Like I put it in a way where like how we were saying trim and that have yeah, that yeah. sound where you can tell that's that crew. Yeah. And you can tell from that that's that crew from that time from that place and they're from yeah. Melbourne. Yeah. I got a couple boys that are doing tracks, like, like I just mentioned, my homie Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he fucking, there's a sound of Sydney at the moment that's coming that's not been released yet. Yeah. But I, all my tape has a solid sound, bro, and it's like. What it's, is the sound? It's a secret Sydney, bro. You know it. I'm you know left it. behind. That's it, cause as soon as these cameras <laughs> off, we'll play the cunt. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, it's hectic, lad. Like five bangers. Yeah, mad. Looking the, forward to every it. track has probably fucking like three beats on it. Yeah, like that's it's gone. I'm just doing backwards. It's like Tyler the Creator for a fucking Sydney fucking yeah. cunt. You know that's what I mean? Like proper creative, proper artistic. I'm yeah. not just expressing myself because I got this pain that I want to get out of my chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to express it in an artistic manner where cunts are going to appreciate how that gets presented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I that's never hectic. had a chance to do that before. That yeah, I yeah, always yeah. was just saying something because I had to say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's mad. It's fucking. I love it. So now you can just celebrate the fact that you're making music. Yeah, I never, and I never used to be able to stand staunch and be like, "I'm a good rapper." I always knew I was good rapper. Yeah. But I would never say I was the best because, like, I never thought my music. I said you were the best. I remember that. Coach. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember, and that fucking. I said you. Were, you're the first person I ever said is better than me. That's hectic, lad. That. Yeah. That's hectic. You're a sick cunt. <laughs> I don't know if you're still better he's than right, me. He's right, lad. He's right. In the moment, he's he right. was better. <laughs> I just, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best be. at everything I do. I'm the best. Be. I'm the, the best kickboxer. I'm the best. If I've never done it before, I'm still the best. Lad. There's nothing you can do about it. But one time, he's, he makes my music. And I said that. And I said that, bro. And I said, fucking, I go, I bro, the only rapper too. that I would say can rap better than me is uh, Husky. And I said that. Fucking... Shout out to the managers for making the delete that one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember, um, but just be, but look, before I wrap it up, do you remember that before you went to jail, we were, we were gonna make a song? I don't, probably fucking not. Yeah, remember. we were gonna make a song, bro. We had a full ID. It was like, because remember you were a cult leader? Yeah, I was like, it's remember a cult you, yeah, yeah, remember you were, the, you were the cult leader? And I had this mad idea, bro. It was gonna be a gun song, bro. And um, it was like, you it was two different verses, bruh. And it was like uh, like good and evil where oh no, it was probably evil and evil. Yeah. I couldn't imagine me of being good. Yeah, no, there was no but good. it was like we were two different leaders in two different ways. It's like I was rapping as a political leader and he was rapping as like uh cult leader, bruh, and like we're influencing Word. our two different and I had this idea and I spat it to you, get but that was hectic and then you got locked up and then Fuck, that was like a year and a half. Yeah. No, that would have been a mad idea. I'm but. going straight back to the DM now. I leak it. I'm leaking it, lad. I'll go back to the DMs. I'm leaking Spain verse. Anyway. No, that's hard, cuz. Fucking no. Let's see, brother. We'll wrap it up. Thanks for coming, bro. Nah, John's lad. Looking forward to the new stuff, eh? Bro, I'll just take you in five minutes. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's play <laughs> Let's it now, lad. Let's ouge. Let's ouge.